first we do the step by step to plan what we're gonna do in the create stage. We first mark out the acrylic according to the size we want. Then Mr. Julian cut the big acrylic with the machine. After that, we need to mark out the circle and cut four sides of the circle using the fret saw. Then we use the sander to make the circle. We tighten the acrylic onto a piece of scrap wood. And then we will file it using the filer. We file the acrylic from rough filer to the smooth filer. After we use the filer, we clean the filer using elephant brush. Then we do wet and dry next. This is a picture of wet and dry paper. First we tighten acrylic with scrap wood. Then we wet and dry the acrylic using wet and dry paper from rough, medium to smooth. We, after wet and drying, we buffer or polish our acrylic using the buffer. So it will be so the sides will be polished and shiny. Then I cut small circles for other parts of my clock. Repeat steps of filing, wet and dry, and buffering, polishing into eight circles. After that, I need to make four white squares, 5 cm by 5 cm in size. I cut these squares using the fret saw. This is a picture of cutting the acrylic using the fret saw. After that, I repeat steps of filing, wet and dry, and buffering polishing to four white squares. The final step is gluing. Gluing the acrylic together. At the end of that DT lesson, we brought the clock home. My final product looks exactly like my SketchUp. The small circles are bigger than what is shown in the SketchUp picture.